these are the best of the best when it comes to the spontaneous destruction of rotary-winged aircraft. We don't want to make it easy for him. We'd better split up. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie helicopter explosions. For this list, we're looking at cinematic depictions of exploding helicopters, so all fixed-wing aircraft like planes and spaceships need not apply. Also, due to the number of exploding helicopters in some action franchises, the one per franchise rule is in effect. You became a Scenes in which the helicopter doesn't actually explode, like say the crashes in Black Hawk Down, are also excluded. Number 10. Your fired true lies. Terrorists typically don't stand a chance against the Governor. What do you mean? So, when Artie gets into a US Marine's Harrier jet, it's game over. He uses the Harrier to rescue his daughter, all while getting shot at by an enemy helicopter. If I break it, stick and take it out of my pay. Then, the terrorist leader jumps on board to try and settle the score. Great idea. But unfortunately for him, he wasn't watching his footing and gets stuck on one of the Harrier's missiles. When the enemy chopper comes into firing range, it sets up two things. A sweet two birds with one stone helicopter kill and one of Arnie's signature one-liners. You're fired. Number 9. What happens on spring break stays on spring break. 22 Jump Street. We love these movies for the simple reason that their action is as over the top as their laughs. So when it comes to the movie's climax, we expect a hell of a lot of both. When pursuing their villain, our heroes find themselves dangling from a helicopter, with Jonah Hill's Schmidt holding Channing Tatum's Jenko to prevent him from falling. In a one-time-only situation, Tatum reaches into Hill's pants to produce a grenade, and before they fall into the ocean, he manages to pull off a lucky throw, bringing down the helicopter. Number 8. Don't look back at explosions. X-Men Origins Wolverine. Having recently been turned into the Wolverine by the Weapon X program, Logan finds himself on a motorcycle, pursued by his enemies in a chopper of their own. There are many techniques to take down a helicopter, but as you can imagine, Wolverine has his own way of doing things. After a fantastic blend of acrobatics and super healing, the Canadian hunk finds himself standing over the helicopter with a sorry lack of explosion. But the words of a surviving enemy ignite Logan's anger, which in turn ignites a trail of fuel. True to form, he doesn't look back. Number seven, so close, Lone Survivor. In the real life story of Marcus Luttrell, Mark Wahlberg plays a sniper from a US Navy SEAL reconnaissance team that finds itself in the worst possible situation. We need immediate air support. They are pinned down and pursued by enemies, but things may be looking up for the team as they manage to get a distress signal out and the extraction helicopters are almost there. At the last minute, an RPG takes down the chopper. This moment is shocking not only for the hard-hitting display of violence, but also for how the explosion signifies the crushing fear felt by the soldiers. Number 6. That's not good. The Dark Knight. Okay, rack him up. With the Joker and his goons in hot pursuit, one would think that some air superiority would be nice. That's what I'm talking about. Air cast. After escaping the tunnel into the open city streets, though, the convoy containing Harvey Dent comes to a rude realization. The Joker is as clever as he is crazy. These things are built for that, right? He's gonna need something a lot bigger to get through this. So clever, in fact, that he's thought ahead and has a plan in place to deal with the GDP air support. Steel cables versus helicopter rotor blades are not a fun time, especially when coupled with the understatement of the year from one of Gotham's finest, 
and followed by that wicked cackle from the Joker. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Number five, rock, paper, chopper, cliffhanger. In the game of Stallone versus helicopter versus mountain, there can be only one winner. And it's sure as hell not gonna be the chopper. Old Sly Stallone manages to get the pursuing chopper attached via cable to a secure rope ladder on the cliffside, which it hangs from following a mountainside crash. <laughs> Needless to say, a fight ensues between Stallone and a very pissed off John Lithgow. <laughs> But it ends when the ladder finally gives way, Stallone jumps to safety, and the helicopter and its crew of one falls to a fiery end. Number four, that was close, Rambo 3. While in Afghanistan to rescue some old friends from the Soviets, John Rambo, the eponymous hero, finds himself pursued by not one, but two Russian gunships. You go on ahead, let's see if you can find some cover. Needless to say, some quick thinking is in order. Using precious seconds to assemble a bow and an explosive tipped arrow, Stallone springs to position, and as one of the attacking choppers comes into view, he blows it out of the sky. Is it just us, or is Stallone allergic to helicopters or something? That was close, Jeff. How are you? Well done. Number three, I was out of bullets. Live free or die hard. This is another film series whose lead actor does not seem to mix well with helicopters. Die Hard with a Vengeance was a strong contender for our list. However, it's in the fourth Die Hard installment that John McClane finds himself pursued by yet another helicopter in a scene we think is even more worthy of this list. Lucky for him, he and Justin Long are in a car-filled tunnel, and for McClane, cars are just as good as any weapon. Not a good idea! Driving as fast as he can, Bruce Willis jumps out just before the car is launched into the air like a giant projectile. While this does go toward the theory that Willis is actually unbreakable, our favorite part is the punchline that follows. How's that, bullets? Number two, doing the impossible, The Matrix. The Matrix swept audiences off their feet with its unique visual style and groundbreaking special effects. So, when we anticipate a helicopter explosion in a movie like that, it had better be phenomenal. As Trinity and Neo are wrapping up their surprisingly successful suicide mission, Neo holds a line for Trinity as she jumps from a falling helicopter. When it smashes into the side of a skyscraper, the shockwaves ripple through the glass before a cacophony of shattering window panes is followed by the blast of the helicopter. It's like cinematic ecstasy. Before we blast our way into our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, red light, green light, mission impossible. Ethan Hunt will always find himself in, well, impossible situations. Sort of like when the helicopter that is coming to pick up his treacherous teammate off of the roof of a speeding train gets its cable attached to the train and is dragged into the tunnel with them. In this situation, Hunt does the only reasonable thing, jump onto the helicopter and defeat it with a stick of explosive gum. Vanquishing both enemies and somehow getting back onto the train, he comes inches from having a shave that's just a little too close. Thrill us half to death, mission accomplished.
Do you agree with our list? Oh yeah, right! What explosive helicopters of the silver screen are your favorite? <laughs> For more explosive top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Burn in hell! <laughs>